Well, let me let me get started. Um, I, I want to go back to uh, the game on Saturday against Bucknell. Uh, you had an opportunity to extend reps to several players, uh, meaning that they had limited or no reps um, thus far during um, the season in their respective positions. Uh, with the opportunity to evaluate the game film, were you were you able to see some of the younger guys that maybe stood out from you know where they were in the beginning of the season to where they are now? Yeah, I mean, it was it was great to see uh, the older guys that that were in there to start off with execute to um, to build a lead. Obviously, we were set up with great uh, field position early in the game, and uh, so we were able to you know get you know get a lead and and uh, get some guys that really needed the work. But uh, just to see guys like Jackson Flipwitz get in there, and uh, you know who's been a backup center, but uh, we also played Noah Knapp there during the season and for him to get his first, you know, real extended time in a game, uh, did a really nice job in there. And then, and then the quarterbacks, um, you know, just uh, thought all of them did a really nice job of uh, executing. Uh, thought Jabari Laws played really well. Cade Ballard showing did some good things. Uh, it was good to see Jamel get in there. Um, you know, had, <clears throat> he hadn't been in there in a while. And, and, all, and then also Maurice Ballon. So, um, you know, when you play six quarterbacks in a game, you don't have any turnovers. Um, you know, that's a it's a real positive thing. Um, you know, we tried to turn it over <laughs> once or twice, but uh, but we didn't. And, and uh, so I thought those guys did a great job executing. And you know, to see a guy like Isaiah Marshall get in there and and uh, you know who played some last year, but to get back into the rotation uh, in that game was was outstanding as well. So really pleased with the way our guys just kind of um, took care of business and. Um, you know, I thought we improved. Awesome. And, and <clears throat> excuse me. And, and here you are at this part of the season, November football, if you will. Um, based on all the games that you played to this point, what would you say you do best offensively? Meaning, you know, where do you feel that you have been most consistent offensively? I don't know. I think it depends on, um, you know, what the what the defense presents to us, honestly, it's different in every game. There's been some games that have been more perimeter games. There have been some games where we've uh, had to throw the ball more. There have been other games where it's been more of an inside game. So I don't know if there's <clears throat> any one thing you could say, OK, this is what we've done the best. Um, yeah, hopefully we're uh, becoming you know, more and more versatile with what we do, uh, where we have an opportunity to run the ball inside, outside, and, and throw the football effectively. Um, I think that's something that, that uh, the guys have done a really nice job of this year um, is, uh, you know, making some plays in the passing game. And I think that uh, makes us harder to defend. Um, so hopefully we'll continue to make strides in that area. Great. And, and my final question is, you know, recruiting is, is one of the pillars of any successful program. And you guys have a successful program. And in the mix of that, you have some prospects who receive a lot of attention coming out of high school, but then you have those couple who, you know, no one really knows that much about, but, you know, he uh, or they uh, come in and, and make a difference when they get a chance. Uh, right. Anyone on the offense now that kind of fits that description? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't want to, I don't remember all of our guys recruiting stories to be honest <laughs> with you. Um, but, uh, you know, we've got several guys that people may not realize the impact that they make on our team, um, a guy like Cole Catterbone comes to mind uh, mm -hmm. just because of the, the way that he uh, blocks on the edge and the things that he does that a lot of people don't want to do, um, that play receiver. I'm not saying here, I'm just saying in general. Um, he comes to mind, um, you know, Cade Barnard, although he was recruited by all three academies, you know, but uh, he, he comes to mind just in the fact that uh, He's a B-back that doesn't carry the ball a whole lot, but uh, he takes the utmost pride in his job. Um, a guy like Brandon Walters comes to mind because, and, and we recruited Brandon heavily, but Brandon's a guy that, uh, you know, um, can do some things with the football, um, but also relishes his blocking role and really does and, and has been excellent at that. A.J. Howard, the same thing. So I mean, we've got a lot of guys that maybe aren't high profile guys, um, but it doesn't mean their job's any, any less important and they take the utmost pride in it. And I, I, you know, I'm really proud of that.